Hi, this is Yaroslav, um, and today we're continuing with our series of uh, SharePoint 2013 previous screencasts. So, uh, last time we looked at team sites, now we're going to take a look at search. So, as part of the search, uh, you probably, as you probably know, um, there's a, a search service um, infrastructure. So, if I go back to my uh, SharePoint Central administration um, to take a look at sort of what's changed in the way that search is, is architectured, um, and you'll see that you know, if I click on uh, application management, there's still service applications, um, and I can see my search service application here. Now, to remind folks, I'm using uh, CloudShare Pro uh, VM here with um, eight gigs of RAM as my development environment. So some of the stuff is already set up here, uh, such as search service application. So if I click on content sources here, I kicked off the uh, the crawl, the full crawl, which took three minutes because I really just have a team site that I created last time with, with a file here. Um, so that part is already sort of taken care of uh, and really not much different from what you've seen in 2010, right? So there is uh, uh, your search service application. There's some things that are uh, a little different. I'm not going to get into those uh, details right now. This is more of just an overview. So let's take a look at the actual search site. So as you'd expect, the search site uh, must be created here. Like it's not available out of the box. If I click view all site content, um, there is there's just a couple of libraries here. There is no search site. So if you try to create the search site here, you'll immediately um, you, you'll be able to create it and see. Uh, you know, from Enterprise, Enterprise Search Center, you'll see actual um, a template, but when you click Create, it'll actually give you an error uh, saying that the publishing infrastructure isn't uh, turned on as a side feature. So you're going to have to turn that on before uh, that actually uh, works for you. So let's go ahead and turn that on. It's a uh, site collection feature, and uh, it's a publishing infrastructure feature activate and uh, I also assume I'm gonna have to create uh, the uh, publish I'm gonna have to provision or activate the uh, site uh, publishing feature so um, publishing infrastructure I hit activate it's still showing me as not activated so let me just refresh the page again so here, th those are sort of things that you would um, kind of have to go through to make sure that they're uh, set up properly. Yes, it's still not activated, my publishing infrastructure. So I'm going to hit again and see what's going to happen. And uh, it's now activated. So what I'm assuming is happening is that it's actually activating there on the, on the background, but it doesn't give you any feedback or any progress. So it's actually uh, just hanging there. And we probably could expect those things to be ironed out before the actual release of the product. So right now it's not released, so keep the, those things in mind. So if I go to Manage Site uh, uh, Features, uh, there's probably a publishing feature here that I need to activate as well uh, to ensure to ensure that uh, my search is working. And here it is, SharePoint Server Publishing. I'm going to hit Activate again. And again, you have no feedback of whether it's been activated or not. Uh, it just refreshes after a while. OK, so it seems to be everything seems to be fine now activated. So I'm going to create a new, um, I'm going to try and create a new site again. As you can see, there's much more, uh, much um, more uh, apps added to the to the page because we activated the publishing feature. Uh, but we're not gonna take. We're not gonna look at those right now. And there's another tab for publishing, but in my case, I'm only interest, interested in a search, enterprise search. So I'm gonna pick all the default options and. Uh, click create. One of the things that you'll notice is that the language of SharePoint has changed a little bit. It's more informal, it's more friendly. So you probably could expect that throughout the throughout of the um, uh, the product. So there you go. There you go. Uh, there's our uh, search and uh, since my search crawl has completed, I assume if I type in a keyword uh, I'll just get you know the search result for that uh, for that document that I have there or text file on the team side. So uh, it takes a little longer. I think it's just a you know a matter of a first time you know created side and uh, things are just firing up there, and um, we're gonna get our result uh, results shortly.
As you can see, there's uh, right away the separation between uh, people, conversations, videos, and reports. So those are uh, those are kind of available as tabs before, and um, and it's sort of the UI changed a little bit, but the functionality is uh, is very similar to this. We'll we'll have a separate look at that. So here's my results back. So one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, it gave me the site and then the document. When I hover over those, is very friendly sort of uh, UI that kind of allows you to um, see some of the related actions related to this document. So some, one of the things that I've been asked like a million times is uh, uh, users want to be able to go to the library where the document is. So now that's available here. You can open a library where the document is uh, versus just... Um, versus just opening a document itself, which can be a simple document like this. Um, so what else? There's some, there's uh, obviously a function to send this. We'll take a look at it later, but you can also extend what, what you can see here in relatively simple fashion. If I hover, if I hover over, over the site, excuse me, um, there's an additional sort of set of functionalities here for the site. Uh, so you can follow the site, open the site, uh, and etc. Uh, and again, we can extend what options you're going to see here, and uh, uh, you can leverage that pretty easily. And some of the some of the basic uh, options also to manage your results. So um, obviously, uh, I don't expect to find anything from people because there aren't any people in this machine except administrator, and our keyword doesn't really match. But uh, since we clicked on it, it'll probably fire it up. Uh, and we'll have a separate look at more complete sort of environment and how that uh, how it search affects uh, people search and stuff like that. But there's definitely more integration in terms of uh, how things are wired from the people's from a people perspective. Uh, so I'm going to click back on everything. One important thing to note here: well, you can't see it; it's still loading. There it goes. So there's my people. Uh, I'm going to click back. Um, here it is. So uh, refiners, right? So the refiners are now a little bit more visual. So if you remember in 2010, you could get something like that, um, but uh, you would have to, you know, resort to customizations. Now uh, those sort of a friendly filters are available here out of the box, and you can refine things. In this case, by date, right? So it's a range refiner, and um, uh, you can you can pick the type of refiner and, and there's some out of the box UI that'll change based on on that type of refiner. So that's it. That's pretty much the overview of search and how it looks. And um, we'll take a look. You know, there's going to be a separate video on how to extend this. And one last one last thing I'm going to show uh, is uh, what's sort of behind scenes and search um, website on search site, and it's pretty much the same things, right? So there's tabs. Um, there's pages uh, which represent particular um, sort of a you know person search or um, you know the results of report search or video search um, basically just like in 2010 just different pages that handle different different sort of results we don't have any videos right now but you know you get the idea all right well stay tuned for next uh, set of webcasts and there's gonna be more videos at sharemuch.com